Hey Muskies, I'm Lynn. And I'm Brianna. Today's February 7th. And, and you're, you're watching Muskie Minutes. Minutes. Hello Muskies, I'm Gabe. And I'm Kaylee, and we're back with this week's channel announcements. If you're 16 and looking for a career, or maybe just looking for a part-time job, you can join the Rustbit Connection team. If you would like to read through the flyer, you can click on the link in the daily announcements. You need to contact Mr. Walsh if interested by Wednesday, February 9th. Thornton Living is looking for volunteers, which can be recorded for Silver Court Hours. If you're interested or would like more info, please contact Taylor Carey Murdoch. Seniors, if you have not ordered a cap and gown for graduation, you need to do so by February 18th. They can be ordered online at jostens.com. If you have any questions, you can stop in Student Services and speak to Ms. Meineke or Ms. Meeker. Interested in playing girls or boys tennis this spring? There's a sign-up in the daily announcements. If you're interested in playing girls soccer this spring, there's a sign-up link in the announcements as well, or you can contact Coach Arceo with any questions. City League softball sign-ups for the spring start February 15th and then will go through February 27th. These will all take place at the Bowling Alley in Muscatine. You can also sign up online through Facebook Messenger or contact Sarah Hoig. The league is open for all girls 6 to 18. For exact dates, time, more info, or to read to the flyer, Click at the link in the daily announcements. And RCR, just a reminder, your practice has moved from Monday night to Tuesday Aww. night. And, and now, now back, back to you. you. Hey Muskies, today we want to bring to you guys a special Super Bowl prediction with me and Bob. Hey guys. And we are really excited to share this with you guys. So Bob, why don't you take your view away? So first off, I'd like to commemorate the Rams' amazing defense, but Joe Burrow has shown us how resilient he is to good defenses, getting sacked nine times against the Titans and escaping two sacks against the Chiefs. I really do believe that this game will be a very close game. If not, it's going to be a wild one. Joe Burrow escaping sacks, making big plays, throwing over to Joe Mixon and all the others. I do believe the Bengals will pull out with a field goal stunner win. So for me, one big thing that I really take away from this is that the Rams' defense is ranked sixth in the whole league in rush yards per game. So if they really want to try and establish uh, their running game with Joe Mixon, the Bengals' O-line is going to have to do a really good job in order to protect and find holes for him. But also, I really think that the Bengals' only chance to win is to rely on, their, uh, uh, rely on Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, and also their tight ends, and even maybe Joe Mixon in the passing game. But yeah, also, the big Joe, injury that their tight end took in that yeah. Chiefs game, that's going to really hurt their offense. They're really going to have to rally together behind the city of Cincinnati to get this win. Also, we must take into fact that Matt Stafford is going to be playing in his first Super Bowl ever. Cooper Cup is also looking like a really good wide receiver right now. This is just going to be one wild game. So for me, really, it's just the Bengals are a huge underdog. We didn't even think that these guys would be in the Super Bowl this year. I thought that they would get like five, six wins this year, and it's just crazy. Like, I believe that their underdog energy will be transferred to L.A., and my prediction is I take the Bengals 27-20 over the Rams. I really like that pick. However, I don't think it's going to be that high-scoring game. Just like a couple years ago, Patriots-Rams, it was such a low-scoring game, 13-3. to I think it's going to be another stunner like that, field goal stunner. I think it's going to be a more like 6-16, to 16. something that's really close, something that shows how tight these two offenses and defenses are. We've seen how much the Bengals' defense can struggle against great quarterbacks, and I think that they're going to pull out another stunner against Matthew Stafford. We know that Matthew Stafford has struggled a lot with throwing interceptions in big games, so this is just going to be one close game. Yeah, for sure. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we really appreciate it, and we hope you guys tune into the Super Bowl this Sunday night. Musky Minute merch is here. Time for shirts and time for gear. Get your Musky Minutes merch now.
Name something that a hardcore football fan wears to the stadium on a game day. Helmet. That is not one of them. <laughs> Face paint. That is number two. Lynn, we got two more answers. The little, like, finger pointy thingies. Yes, the foam, foam finger. Yeah. Okay, we got one more. Baseball hat in there. Yes, it is a hat. <laughs> all right, you guys got all 99 points on that. Hey, second question. Rice and Gabe, you're up. What food is often served at a Super Bowl party? It's nachos. Yes, that is the number three answer. Gabe, can you come up with the number one or number two? Cheese dip. Yes, chips and dip is the number two answer. So, good <laughs> All right, Daniel, give me another one. Um, wings. That's the number one answer. Woo! We got three what more. Burgers. Eh. Oh. No burgers. Eh. <laughs> Gabe. Uh, meat platter. Eh. Oh, God. Chips. You are we already said, said that said one. That. Eh. All right, you guys get to try to steal now. Kaylee, yes. which food is often ser served at a Super Bowl party? Actually, discuss with your team. Try to come up. There are three possible answers. You just need to get one of them. Pizza. Yes, pizza is number five answer. All right, you guys also got Let's 99 go. points, so we are ending in a tie today. What? <laughs> Santa Claus. Yeah. That's the only thing that he does. Oh, what Santa else does he besides that? Huh? Santa's real. Uh, okay. Santa's not real. <laughs> All right. Since we ended in a tie, we have to have a tiebreaker between Daniel and Carson. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> we are looking for only the number one answer here. The person that gets the number one answer, their team will win. Name something you are guaranteed to see at a Super Bowl. Football. You are the winner. Ah! Cheaters! Because <laughs> he's had his hand like right here. He's like, and Ronald's like this. Carson, all I hear is wow, wow, wow. Oh, okay, <laughs> 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 <laughs>Hi right, guys, I'm with Aubrey, JD. I'm gonna ask him some questions about this blood drive. So what does this blood drive mean to you guys? To me, this blood drive is really important. I try to give blood every time that I'm eligible to just because I know that it helps people that are in need, obviously. And I really like giving to this blood drive because it supports um, Michaela's family. And I think that's really important, especially in our community. What JD said. So why was this blood drive organized? This blood drive is organized because it's in memory of Michaela and it's something that our whole community wants to remember and obviously it's important to her family and I think it touches everyone in the school and a lot of people donate to this blood drive specifically because it's in remembrance of such a great person. And why should other muskies donate their blood? Because you're saving lives and it's easy so why not? All right. Thank you guys for your time. Yeah. Oh, I'll take that from you. Hey, Muskies. I'm Brianna, and we are here with Miss Keltner to give her a special shout out because she posts our episodes every Monday. We just want to say thank you. Yeah, you guys are doing a great job. Keep it up. Hey, Muskies, I'm Lynn, and I'm here with a special announcement about Key Club's Crush for a Crush. Come buy a $2 can of Crush for your Valentine friend or even teacher. Cans will be sold this week before school and during lunch near Nirvana and in the library. Cans will be delivered Monday, February 14th during Muskie time. That's good. Action. Hello Muskies, it's Kaylee back with this week's weekly poll. The results from last week's poll are 63% of you would rather walk on rocks and 37% of you would rather sleep on bricks. Don't forget to vote in this week's poll at Muskie Minutes on Instagram.
We at Musky Minutes want to wish these muskies a very happy birthday. <laughs> Howdy muskies, welcome back to another episode of Food for the Brain with me, Bob, yours truly. Muskies, have you felt tired or frustrated recently? I know I have. We must learn to pace ourselves so that we can keep up with this hectic thing called school. That's why Banksy, an artist and political activist said, when you get tired, learn to rest, not quit. So muskies, when you face a problem that seems impossible, rest and think on it. Don't just turn away and quit. That's all for this week, muskies. We'll see you next time. I'm the greatest.